So number 125 College Road, we're just up on the rear of the property. Um, just firstly, he was mentioning about putting some wiring around the solar panels. So I believe that you're leaning towards something like this that they've put on next door. Would that be right? Uh, if that's the case, we can indeed install this for you. around your solar panels and the perimeter slates are in good condition the chimney I'm actually surprised because after looking inside and we saw the amount of staining going down the wall I expected some flashings to be missing um, they are fixed with cement now, this is something for future while we're up here. I'll grind this out, I'll refix them with lead plugs. And then we'll seal them with lead meat because lead expands and contracts, so solid substrates like cement will always get pushed out over time. You can see on the front of the flash in there that's coming away, so water could be getting behind that. Can you see that there? Where it's sticking up, it can be getting, driving behind there. Little things, the, the, the rear apron around the back, it's not been welded, but it has been bent round well. Um, so what we're going to do is, as you requested, uh, grind point and forge the top. You can see there's a lot of foliage coming out the sides. We can see there's mortar on the front, but as you get further up, it's completely missing. Um, it has a bit, a bit of a bodge job on top, you can see the cement's kind of oozing over the sides. Um, and that section at the top is like a step so that really needs to have a nice concrete flange on that so it falls away and doesn't sit on the chimney so it's also the same on the gable end uh, the point seems reasonably well here on the side got some dark patches on the front and then you get to the top eight courses uh, most of the mortar's gone it's bleeding and again with the flange on top it looks blown it's cracked so you've got moss coming out of there so for all three chimneys, it'll be scaffolding, grind, points, flange with concrete, and put some terracotta caps on top. They'll be similar to these ones. You see that? Terracotta pot, that will cap it nicely for you. Or we could also do the open vent, which is something similar to this, but it's in terracotta. And what I'll also do is I'll put an extra price in for because the amount of water that's coming down here, once we, once I can get up here and actually investigate properly with the scaffold, um, there might be a case of the sulkers underneath the flashings where the channel of water runs down. That might be impaired. So that'll mean stripping out the slates from here. Um, new individual cold, uh, cold free sulkers on each course and then a rear apron. I'll put in a provision for that, but it might not need doing. It might simply be that it's getting down the chimney itself. So grind point and flange with a separate price. Once we're up here, if we discover that there's some imperfections in the lead and that we're going to have to change that. But as it stands, the lead's it's oxidising at the front, you can see that, but it's not in bad condition at all, it's in good condition. Okay.